Sometimes it feels like any mode of transportation is faster than the ferries. Riders like Pam Coleman know waits of at least an hour or two in Edmonds are to be expected. Well, it's a waste of time actually because I'm working and you know it really burns up a lot of valuable time when you need to get things done during the day. Long lines to board, fewer boats to get you where you need to go, more malfunctions, and a worker shortage have all had the nation's biggest ferry system sinking. Now, though, there is hope on the horizon. A 16-year, $16, $16 billion transportation package. The Senate bill would fully fund four new hybrid electric boats. It would build ferry charging stations at docks and provide money to better hire, train, and retain workers. And it got really bad. People couldn't go to docks appointments. We couldn't get supplies. Orcas Island Ferry Advisory Committee member Rick Hughes has been working on this for a decade. Not only is it an amazing transportation vehicle, but it's just something that, um, I, I just something that is is Washington, just like the Space Needle. Ranking Republican on the Senate Transportation Committee, Curtis King complains Republicans have had very little input on the bill. When you look at what's being proposed, you can see why, because it is just a Christmas tree of everything, every issue that they have ever wanted in the last four years. Meantime, weary riders are just hopeful their ferry nightmares are over. With the COVID and the politics and all that, it's everything has been kind of upside down for sure. Live now at the Edmonds Ferry Dock, you can see the dock is empty because there's only been one boat running here all day long. Now, the reason the Democrats were able to go it alone on this one is because they didn't ask for any new gas tax or bond money to pay for it. If that had been the case, they would have had to get a 60% majority in the Senate in order to pass it. Instead, they just need a 50% majority, and they do believe they have the votes. Debate beginning in just a little bit. Reporting live at Edmonds tonight, Eric Wilkinson, King 5 News.